I'm V Santiago 113. I'm going to show you how to create game trainers, but in this first video, it's going to be how to create a module for read write memory. Same as you've seen as C and Visual Basic. So, we're going to do everything on Python. So, let's start. Uh, create a file here uh, for Python and call it read write memory. Remember, Python is case sensitive. You guys, I'm assuming you guys already know Python read write memory that be white okay sensitive look at the name so okay let's make it a, li a little bit smaller so we're going to import two things we're going to import c tapes it's going to be to use the dlos for the win and the windows apis and we're going to use psutil why i use psutil is because with psutil you just enter the name of the process and it gets the PID of the process and it does everything else so it's really easy um, here are the the, the, PI, the APIs from Windows first thing we're gonna do like, like on here first thing we're gonna do we're gonna say this is gonna be the DLOs needed then we're gonna say the Windows APIs Windows APIs. Um, before Windows APIs, we're gonna say process permissions. So okay, let's start. Uh, first one, we're gonna be working what is gonna be with the process, and uh, let's get the permissions. Okay. So if you go here, the open process, read and write, use kernel 32 and uh, win the allow win the allow is, is in not specifying here but you need it if you see a c++ and visual basic read write memory modules use like win the allow and kernel 32 so we're gonna go on here and we're going to say kernel 32 is equals win the allow uh, that kernel 32 so that's what we, we're using. Now for the permissions, you go in here. We need four permissions. Okay, N don't don't use process all access. If you read on here, based on Microsoft information, it says that if you don't need all the all the all the permissions, you don't need to use process all access. You're gonna see that people use it because they don't go here and read don't use it you don't need it you only need four so the first one that we need is this one it's a process query information let's put it on here i just put an equal sign that's it we need process vm operation that's the other one we need we only need four that's all we need process vm read and VM right, that's all. Okay. Uh, VM right. That's all we need. If you use process all access, well, according to Microsoft, it might lag because because you setting up too many permissions and you're not even using them. We only need four. Four we use. So for the Windows APIs, uh, we're going to use the open process. So we're gonna say open process is equals uh, kernel 32 the open process let's create a class and now let's start with the open process okay so to now let's write this one here for now so we're gonna give it on here process name. It's gonna be my let's call this my process. It's because to open the process to create a handle, you need to give it the name of the process so it gets the PID and everything else to use. And the open process we set up the API by here. Kernel 32, which is using these DLOs. Okay, so let's start. Make it a little bit faster. So we're gonna say First thing we're gonna set up is the permission, the desire access. We're gonna say DW, no, sorry, DW, D. 
Sire. Access is equal. And now the desire access is equal all of these variables that we set up on here. Uh, this other one. And then these two. This is our, our, our desire access. Okay, let's put a semicolon on there to make. You don't need to put semicolons. I just do it. I don't know. I like to see it on there. Now we're gonna say that inherit. I'm oh, sorry. In b in b inherit handle. Just in case I don't make a mistake, I misspell this. Just copy and paste the name. You see, I had something wrong already. This is all going to equal false. It's not going to inherit anything. That's why it's equal false. And now the other one is going to be. Now we gave it a name. We need a PID. So we're going to say for process in P sutil the process iter. This is going to give it a list of all the process running on your computer. So we can get the name. So now we're going to say if process that name because it's getting the name of that process the process that name is equal to my process which is the name of the, pro the process that we're giving it here we're gonna say DW process ID which is this one DW process ID because we need to give it a PID and the best way for us is easy to give it a name instead of the PID so and now we got it. So now we have the permission. We have pretty much this is almost complete. And now we need to write the API on here, which is we we need to get a, the handle, which is all this right here. So we're gonna say sorry, tape this with a comma over here. Like this. And then this other one right here, and then the last one right here. I like to have it same as here. You don't need to. That's on you. Okay. And now, if all this works out, we're going to return the process handle. Okay. And now. Let's say, for example, if, for example, process name is equals known, that means it couldn't find anything. We're gonna close. Uh, no, we're gonna set the process uh, equals known. Okay, that's it. Process equals known. Okay, we got it. And now we're gonna have to do two more. This is going to be the close handle, and then the let's go on here. Close this one. We're going to go do the close handle really quick. It's going to be close handle is equal. And then the other one is going to be get last error right here. Okay. Now let's go here. Let's go. Close handle. We give it uh, the handle, so it can have handle to close. And then we're gonna say close. Uh, close handle. And we're gonna say age object which is this one h object to make sure uh, i don't make any mistakes i already made one here uh, i'm sorry i'm sorry okay so we're gonna say the handle is equals this 
let's put this on here just to have it really pretty like like it is on here okay now nah, what don't nah, let's put it on here I don't care okay so we have this one is working and then the other one is gonna be get last error this get last error doesn't need anything it just gets last error and it doesn't do anything we get again get last error and then say return get last error okay so we got we have close the handle to close the handle we give it the the handle process get last error gives the er error i'm going to stop this video on here and on the next video we're going to write the read to read from the memory of the process and to write to the memory of the process thank you for watching Remember to share the video and subscribe. See you in the next video.